which is just basically like a thin, th well, a thin cut of foam so I laid along the back of your hopper, any hopper that you like to tie and it does add a bit to the fly, it just gives a wee bit more so lift in the hook itself and I, I know there's a few boys like to use it on some of the, the olive patterns as well, some of the river flies and they work extremely well now, and it does on the hopper and uh, this is a request that I got asked to tie and this is one, the olive one that I know works extremely well now the hook I'm using is the, this is a Camasan, it's a B170 size 12 and I'm just going to use a light olive uni thread and I'm just going to start it now instead of starting the I'm going to start it like just for the body would sort of finish and work my way down because I'm going to try and keep it really thin all the way down to this point here just might slightly come round the bend and then remove the waist piece now for the rib I'm using this is clear wrap this is just a plastic clear wrap from Steve Spartan now in the smaller flies or even this size what you do is you can reduce the thickness of the wrap now it's normally a medium thickness or a medium tinsel thickness anyway but you can reduce it by half by keeping it on the spool and stretching it as you take it off. Now I'm going to tie in my clear wrap at the back, just the full length of the body, just a turn of, just a turns enough to hold it. And then we get our foam, depending on the colour we want. Now this is obviously on the olive side. And then I'm going to use a dark olive, this a two, two mil thick foam, fine foam. And I'm going to cut it with a long pair of scissors. Now I'm going to really cut it in about a mil or so mill or two, quite thin and then, see the thickness there and then a wee double cut there, I'm going to stretch it slightly just catch it at the back and no more and then I'm going to wind up start off with making sure it's tied in and then get really, f see uh, you can you could use a finer dubbing if you want, but I'm going to use seals for now. I'm going to use a kind of like a medium olive, very light, just a lightly, lightly does it. You don't want too much. Keep it as thin as possible. Now, as you can see, a good start. I'm going to just take the hook round and see where I'm going to start. And you'll see when I wind up. It really loose and thin to this point here. Pull off the excess. And then basically get your foam, slightly not so much stretch it, but just pull it so it's quite tight and then hold it. And then with two or three turns, tie in. And that's fine. Then with your clear wrap, you can do a single turn at the back and then rib it all the way up. You want to be able to see these segments. Just watch if your foam starts to go round. Just bring it round, and then to the front. Just do your last turn. Then front of the foam. Catch it in. Oops. Nice and tight. Now what I'm going to do is just make sure where I'm going to start. I'm just going to bring up, tie this foam back slightly. There we go. And trim away your clear wrap. Legs, I'm just going to use natural brown, this is pre-knotted legs uh, these are basically you can buy these for vineyards three either side, just bring them 90 degrees from the stem that sh should line up the ends and then tear them away and then I'm going to put this here, three either side of the the foam, now the foam is going to be our thorax cover so Short legs, get the leg length I want, it's fine. Just come round, a couple of loose turns, get the legs to sit where you want, tighten up. Looks okay. Try away the excess. Again, I'm just going to tidy these ends up. And I've got some hackles lying here, these are a furnace. On this hackle, this is from a saddle. I've used the bottom end for one fly. 
and I'm using the top for another. Just tear away the fibres from the stem so you can tie it in. And then get some more of the dubbing. Just a light dubbing. Now, give yourself plenty of room up towards the eye. So what I'm going to do is make sure I've got some dubbing at the back. And finish slightly shy of the head, or the eye of the hook. So that I can bring over the foam when I'm ready. And then hackle, spring your hackle through. Now I want it to slightly lie towards the back. So I'm going to force it towards the back. And then there's one, two, three. To my fourth turn there. Now, what I'm going to do is try and keep this head quite thin. So a couple of turns to secure that in, just to hold it at the moment. I will trim away the hackle when I'm trimming away the foam. Spring the foam over, give it a good stretch, a wee stretch. Try and keep it as thin as you can. Two or three turns. Looks okay. Trim away the excess. Trim away the hackle. Tiny bit of wax here, just tidy up the head area. That's fine. And this does it. This is more like a kind of subsurface type fly. It's one you would fish in, you can fish in a cast with two or three other flies. I'm uh, just going to wet finish. And then all we have to do is varnish the fly. Touch the head all the way around. Try and keep it as thin as possible. It's very easy to overbuilt this fly and you can even go thin on that if you could. Um, and use very little dubbing 